Hello again, everybody. Elric Ferris, Editor-in-Chief from Motherboards.org. Well, ATI released their cards a couple weeks back, and now NVIDIA is about to launch a bunch of their new cards. The first card that we're going to be taking a look at is the new Gigabyte GT220. This features the new GPU, the GT220 from NVIDIA. Follow along as we show you some of the finer points of this card, how it works, and what it can offer you as the end user. This card still supports only DirectX 10.1 and does not have support for DirectX 11 as the new ATI cards do. But let's still see if it can compete and if it's a good card for you. Here are the main features of the Gigabyte GT220. It uses the new GT220 GPU, and this card is an overclocked version. It comes in at 720 megahertz. The standard version is 625 megahertz. One of the main features of this card is that it supports Microsoft DirectX 10.1, because overall, this card is really a card that replaces the old 9400 series. The card supports all the good things like pure video and CUDA, and it also only requires a 400 watt or greater power supply. Once again, even though the Gigabyte GT220 is not a high-end gaming card, it offers fantastic video options. Get all the video processing power that your digital lifestyle requires. As mentioned, it gives you a premium Windows 7 experience. This card will also work with older operating systems, but is fully programmed for Microsoft Windows 7. Here's a shot of the retail box, followed by a shot of both the driver's installation CD and the user's manual. Content is pretty light in these cards. Here's a picture of the heatsink. It's very basic. It just covers the GPU with a single fan. This is the PCI interface that goes into your motherboard. Here's the rear I.O. featuring a single DVI, VGA, and single HDMI connector. Here is our test system. As you can see, we have changed our system to the latest products. Well, as you can see, the results are in. And the new GT220 card is really nothing that's all that super outstanding. This is basically a card to replace the old GT9600 from NVIDIA. This card is going to be very low priced, and for those people wanting an entry-level video card that can still play games, the GT220 might just be that card.